Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In the year 2018, India had signed a contract worth Rs 35,000 crore to purchase 5 squadrons of S-400 from Russia. 3 out of 5 squadrons of S-400 has already been delivered and 2 more are slated to be delivered by 2023-24. However, Reports suggest it will be delayed due to ongoing Russia-Ukraine war. The prolonged Russia-Ukraine war and the embargo by Western nations have continuously depleted the stock of spares and missiles and limits Russia's production capability. As per the Parliamentary Panel Report of March 2023, India Air Force has been compelled to downsize its budgetary projection for 2023 after the pause in delivery of critical defense system from Russia which is none other than S-400. So beside spend of billions of forex reserve, the major challenge with the exported military hardware is the reliability of supply which is subject to geopolitical situation and sanctions. This is one of the prominent reasons why India must develop indigenous technologies in defense sector. Now, DRDO has extensive experience in developing various types of missiles, radars from short range to very long range. However, it is yet to field a system like S-400, which can protect against variety of threats. ERATS or Extended Air Defense System is DRDO's indigenous effort to develop the long-range surface-to-air missile system similar to Russian S-400 missile system. ERADS is going to be a mobile, all-weather, multi-launch and net-centric air defense system. It will be able to detect and engage fighter jets, low radar cross-section aircraft, bombers, refuelers, airborne early warning aircrafts, hail and mail UAVs and cruise missiles. As a part of TRDO's ERADS, two missile systems are being developed. The first one is going to be indigenous version of Barak ER missile called ERSAM or Extended Range Surface to Air Missile having range of nearly 150 km. The second missile is XRSAM or Extra Long Range Surface to Air Missile with a range of nearly 300 plus km. ERSAM will be used to engage highly maneuverable targets such as fighter jets and XRSAM will be used for engaging strategic assets such as AWOX and refuelers. The missiles will be tipped with RF active homing head to acquire better accuracy during the terminal phase. Each ERADS unit will consist of four ERADS launcher, one S-band search and track radar, one X-band fire control radar, one X-band mast-mounted radar for low-flying target tracking. Each launcher of ERATS will carry two ERSAM and two XRSAM missile. In total, its firing unit will have eight ERSAM and eight XRSAM missiles in ready-to-fire condition. ERATS is almost like S-400 system in terms of capability, barring few differences. The S-400 has four different missiles for different roles and ranges, whereas ERADS will have only two of them for engagement at long and medium range. Also, the maximum range of ERADS for targeting the aerial targets will be 300 plus kilometers, while that of S-400 is 400 kilometers. But these small capability gaps can be easily filled by further extending XR-SAM range and integrating Akash and QR SAM systems. Talking about the development status, as per the tender document released by DIDO in May 2023, the firm has initiated the process of fabrication of ER SAM missile. As per the tender document, the missile will undergo trials in last quarter of 2023. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.